Tebro and Sons presents Cooking with Rar. Today's episode, the tuna thing. Are you a fan of noodles? You sort of like fish, but not overly, just kind of okay? You like reasonably high protein and filling food? You like nuking fish at work in the company microwave and making everybody hate you? Then you will have a passable interest in the tuna thing. You will need a flat cooking dish. How deep it is doesn't really matter. It will just change your cooking time. We use a 13 inch pan, I think. The best part about cooking with raw is we aren't great and we're lazy, but we produce quality meals despite our ineptitude. So just pick a pan and go with it. Also, you'll need a big pot for boiling noodles and stirring the ingredients. High sides are helpful. Your ingredient list is six cans of tuna, one big can of peas and carrots, drained. You can use fresh or frozen. Three cans of cream of something soup. One box or four cups of noodles. These ancient grain ones have pretty decent protein. And some curry or whatever spices you prefer. Start by boiling some water. Here's a tip that people just plain overlook. If you fill the water all the way to the top, it takes forever to boil. So put in just enough water to get it to cover the noodles when you put them in. While boiling the water, open your cans and drain the tuna and carrots. Hey, see this tuna? You're not allowed to have this tuna. That's not your tuna. You can't have that tuna. Public service announcement. Kittens loved canned fish and canned fish juice. However, it can contain bad things that can make your kitty sick. I'm not a veterinarian, I am not a nutritionist, but I can spread a little paranoia. You do what you feel is best for your kitten, and we choose to hedge on the side of caution. Once the noodles are boiled, drain the water. Throw the noodles back in the pot. Then, throw everything else in the same pot and stir it up. You can do the stirring in the flat dish, but it can get messy, and this pot is already dirty anyways. Now you have two choices. Dump it in the dish and cook it at 350 for 40 minutes, or throw it in the pot in the fridge and just cook it later. Tuna tends to be cheap and high protein, but unfortunately can contain mercury. Once a month won't hurt you, but having this every day might not be ideal. If you use frozen peas and carrots, boil them before putting them in the mix. We use cream of broccoli generally. I hate mushrooms, but I can barely taste the cream of mushroom if used in this recipe. Unfortunately, cream of bacon is also hard to taste. The original recipe online called for egg noodles. We use these ones for every other recipe, so you just do whichever you prefer. We dump in some curry, but some pepper and red pepper flakes really do come through nicely as well. And you can see here the completed recipe clocks in at just under 3000 calories with a whopping 261 in protein. An average adult is going to be eating about one sixth of the tray for 480 total calories or almost 44 protein. That's a pretty good ratio. One of the best parts of this recipe is you can keep the materials on hand to make it whenever you require as none of the components are fresh. Just got back from a weekend of camping and need food for Monday night? Hit up the pantry and throw this together. No fuss, no muss. As noted at the start, this can be somewhat stanky if you microwave it at work. Be polite, keep it at home, or work around other folks not having to smell it and not eat it. And with that, you now know how to make the Chibro and Sons tuna thing. Remember together, we can face that fridge.